Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In today's video you will find out how the price of Litecoin has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA and Stochastic RSI are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a closer look at the hourly time frame for Litecoin, the price went down only slight by about 1.8% in the last 24 hours and has a current price of 41.1. Moving to the simple moving average, or short SMA, it is calculated by summing up the close prices for a certain amount of candles and then dividing it by the number of the candles. We use usually the last 20, 50, 100 and 200 candles to calculate the different SMAs. The SMA lines could be used to determine if a trend is currently to the downside or upside. The SMA lines could also show support and resistance levels and breaking one of them could signal trend to the corresponding direction. If we now look at the current hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 41.3. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. Looking at the hourly exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is is situated below the hourly ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 41.4. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, the price has crossed the 20 SMA downwards it's a strong signal that there has been a higher than average volume. For this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 41.5. Looking at the three hourly exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is is situated below the three hourly ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 41.8. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Moving to the three hourly stochastic RSI, the crypto is being oversold because both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very low. This means that we can expect a change in the trend or for the crypto can remain at least stable for some time. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually change to the upside. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. Time.